Hi, welcome back. This is Alex. In the last lesson, I explained the code I inserted to the meta tags page to update our stats. And in this lesson, I will show you the code I inserted at, into the stats page to display those stats from the tables we updated at the last lesson. Okay, let's go over uh, this page. Okay, first of all, I'm, cal I'm calculating the page views uh, by page, even before I'm calculating the total page views. Okay, so I'm setting quantity to be zero, and then I'm selecting all the quantity uh, fields from our stats table. Here is the stats table. I'm just basically adding all those quantities, okay? I'm adding all those page views. As I explained at the last lesson, each entry is for a unique user and each quantity is the number of page views of this page for this, uh, for this visitor at, at this date. Okay, so I am adding here uh, all those quantities by using this uh, while loop. Okay, and then I'm printing quantities. Then I want to show only the unique visitors, okay? So what I'm doing is just not adding the quantity, just counting the unique uh, user IPs fields. And uh, this distinct is uh, just counting, this distinct key keyword is telling SQL just to count uh, the unique user IP fields and then I'm uh, retrieving this value by using this syntax okay because I don't want any of the fields from my row unique I want just this uh, count sorry I want just this count result uh, this count result and not any field so I'm using this syntax to print and the result of this counting, okay? Then I am uh, displaying the views by page, okay? Here I will use an array and I'm selecting distinct uh, page names from our stats order, from our stats table, sorry. And this will make sure that I will have just the list all, of all the pages inside this array Okay, because basically all our pages are located here because I accessed them and then I was like a unique visitor for those pages and uh, now we will retrieve them and add them to this array, okay, to this uh, sums array. Okay, so here is the page name and then I am just adding uh, all the quantities uh, for this page, okay, and again I want just uh, the sum, the value of this SQL expression and not the fields, that is why I'm using this expression, okay, and then I'm adding to my sums array all those sums, okay, so basically sums is array now, just a moment, okay, it is an array now, which is including the values of the sums and the index of this array is uh, is the page name so for example the name of this box inside the array is index and the value is for example 5 Okay, the name of the next box is the name of the next page, for example, uh, product, and the value is, of course, uh, the number of, uh, of the visitors. Okay. Now I'm sorting this array using the rsort uh, function. This function is sorting arrays uh, in reverse order. You can read more about this function on Google. And then I'm using for each syntax to display uh, this array. This is like the index, which is the page name. And then I add some text and the value. 
Okay, then the final result will look something like this. Okay, first we displayed the total page views, then we displayed the unique visitors, and now I'm displaying the sums array. Okay, this is the index of the sum array, the name of the box, and this is the content of the box, as I just explained. Okay, using the for each uh, expression we will display all this array, and then we will do the same for a unique page visitors and as you can see this array is sorted in a reversed order using the uh, the sort function the r sort function okay now we will do exactly the same for uh, for the unique uh, page views by page so i'm uh, also selecting all the unique pages and I am also adding here the page name into the page variable. Then I am counting all all the unique user IPs for this page name. Okay, here I am not summing; I am just counting. Okay, and this result of this counting is assigned to our counter variable, and then this counter variable is added to our array. Then the array is sorted, and again we are printing uh, the index and the value. Okay, here is the final result. Of course, everything is one because I'm uh, the only visitor of this page. Okay, then I'm doing exactly the same, but this time I am not uh, selecting. Uh, I'm not selecting pages as here but I am selecting uh, unique dates and I am limiting this date just for 10 days I will just display uh, information here uh, for the last 10 days of course you can change it in your website then I am using this loop again to uh, just add the current date uh, the date to the current date variable and then I'm summing all the all the quantities all the page views for this date and then this sum result is stored in the sum variable and uh, this variable is stored into the sums uh, array then the array is sorted and displayed using the for each uh, using the for each uh, syntax then I'm doing exactly the same for unique visitors. The only difference is here that I'm not summing. I'm just counting the unique user IPs, the unique visitors, and I'm displaying uh, the array here. Okay, basically the same. Very simple stats page. I will add uh, this, uh, of course, the syntax to the lesson, and you will be able to see it, to try it by yourself, and I hope then uh, that will make uh, sense for you after a little practice if not of course you are welcome to ask me your questions and uh, in the next lessons we don't have actually too many lessons left but in the next lessons we will talk about uh, some protection of our website and some uh, performing some checks to our interaction with the, with the visitor and just doing all kind of finishing touches. So let's finish this lesson and meet in the next one. Bye bye for now.